today is a very Asana big said day. Dada's my brother. Asana said he's my punching bag. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But today... And I'm going to get a punching bag and I'm going to punch it all the way to the garage door. Today graduates. With my master's in accounting. So if you need a CPA, I'm your girl. Seriously. Yeah. Um, I keep trying to get her to open her Instagram to public. I will. And she's going to do it today. So by the time you see this, her Instagram will be open so that you can Oh, yeah. so that you guys can follow her and if you guys do need someone to help you with your accounting and your budgeting and all that stuff, she can do it for you. So yeah. You put the Instagram name on Yes, I'm going to put um, her Instagram, the link to straight to her Instagram in the description box so you can just click on it. It'll take you straight there. So this was hard. This is for all. I'm going to just go okay, ahead and take over for a second. Hard. Hey, Daniel. This is for all parents, single moms, single dads. This was to go through this. I made a commitment, hell or high waters, that I was going to finish my degree. I came from being an eighth grade dropout. Did not get my GED until I was 24. Did not have the confidence that I could do it. I didn't have the understanding of um, self, self-awareness, self-care, self-motivation. Um, but when I tell you that you're looking at someone who beat the odds of people believing and not believing in them, someone who stayed up constantly late at night and asked why, why am I doing this? What is it going to benefit? I don't need this, but I can tell you I did it, not only for me, but for them two back there. So they can say that they are proud of their mom. I did it with, with little to no understanding of what it, I, why I was doing it. I sh I, and I know that I'm like going over my words right now because this morning was pure hell. It was. And um, that is, once again, defeating odds of people who don't believe in you. And those people can be your closest family. I'm proud of you, Mommy. Oh, me too, Mommy. So today is a very important day. And this is what my, this has always been my theory. Anytime the day starts out like hell, everything's going wrong, that just means Satan is just trying to come against you because the day is actually going to turn out to be absolutely incredibly amazing. And every single time, I'm right. So, <laughs> the, you know, Satan will always come at you. Anytime you're walking with purpose and you're you're in line with God's will, there will always be opposition. And I know that we have come on this, we've talked about this before as far as oppositions, as far yeah, as like Indiana 13. Uh, as far as things just coming at you and you're like, why, 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 what, what is it? Am I doing something? And then you try to re reframe your, your thought process and then it's like, is it something that I could be doing? Is it something, but no, that's why. Because like Shauna has said once before, when you are close to your victory and you're close to the things that God has for you, the enemy tells on himself because that's when stuff happens. Yeah. And along the way, along the journey, you're going to lose some people that you never thought that you would lose. Every time. Every time. Continue and you're going to come up against some things that you never thought. But the thing that I can say is keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Like one day, Shauna and I are going to sit down and just fully tell our testimony of where we come from. And not only together, but individually, you would never know what we've been through. And that or might, who we used to be. Oh my gosh. And that's what a lot of people try to bring back your past of who you used to be. But let's, like we, I know a lot of you seen it on Instagram and social media. It's like you bringing up my past is like me going to an old address. I don't live right. there no more. Exactly. Like so, what's the point of even bringing it up? And then you also have to look at the source when you look at the source of who's bringing that stuff up it's like how dare you although no one can judge you no one can like we are trying to talk about this all the time it's like we don't have no room to judge anybody any anyone at that 
and so that's 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 the part where I can say even for even Sean and I we talk about this every day it's like it's so liberating that we are free we're no longer in bondage we make mistakes like I had to apologize to Shauna just this morning I had to apologize to both of my children just this morning because my behavior was totally out of character but that's that's when you can say you know what I'm human I'm imperfect and I'm sorry and you take ownership for those things and that's where I feel like even with our relationships that you guys we've had the conversation before of how we yeah yeah so if you want a reminder the link will be or one of those whichever side it is you can go watch our video about how we kind of broke up yeah and our then ended up very, yeah, our legal reunited. <laughs> yeah and instagram is public guys just <laughs> thanks child thanks and i appreciate it and i just i just today is a happy day today is a real happy day and um hopefully shauna can get in on video when i, I walk will, across this stage and it's god be the glory because you're looking at someone who's a true miracle mentally emotionally a true miracle and a testimony because i was a wreck she, she was i'm not gonna I'm not no, gonna lie. No, the I story was, she told me. <laughs> I was a pure wreck. Yeah. So yeah, guys, you know, just join the ride. And you know what? This is like I, I was saying in my Instagram yesterday. This has been the most heartbreaking month of my life. But you know what? Like God is so good, and God, I can cry because seriously, like life is hard. It's never gonna be easy. But I, I, I truly don't know how people do it without God because I wouldn't be here honestly if it wasn't for him and like just I'm so grateful for my people like if it wasn't for this one like man but just don't lose faith don't lose hope if you have a dream go for it after it do yeah. not let, let anybody tell you that you can't do it that you're too old like nothing just go for it because life is too short and you may not have tomorrow and or if you you know get sick or whatever you don't want to be on your death but this is what i always think about you don't want to be on your deathbed and look back on your life and be like dang like i wish i would have been older i wish i would have been braver i wish i would have gone after that thing yeah, yeah like right. just do it just go for it be who you are just don't don't let anybody stunt or or, or what am i trying to say stunt your growth but also subdue your personality be you be confident be bold and go for it unapologetically you. that's it because there's only one of you there's only one that's of you that's it and only one and only you can do what's what meant for you do. yes and while you can impact other people Absolutely. and that's the thing is that even with shauna and her instagram it's like it's only one of shauna and it's only one of her that can go out and, and impact and touch somebody's life the way that she can and that goes for everybody else you can't people like oh you, i don't know if i can make a difference you, you can. can you are really you are can. put here to make a difference it's just up to you whether you do go, it go after that and that's where the difference between people who are who succeed and the people who go after that after their dream versus the people they don't because they take that leap of faith Absolutely. they take that leap of you know what i'm going to do this i'm not going to stop no matter what happens hell or high waters i you're the only one that can stop you you're the only one there can yeah there people can say no 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 but it takes that 10th no yeah. to be able to say you know what that 11th that 11th one higher i'm trying to say it it can happen for you. It can happen for you. Not only that, but you're going to look back and be like, oh my gosh, now I understand why all those other people said yeah. no. Yeah, and you, get, you develop tough skin. You, you develop do. tough skin and then you realize, I can't do this by myself. God, you made that miracle. You made that door open and you made it happen. And that right there is, that's when you understand, like, I can go from glory to glory to glory. But we can't go from that with this being ourselves. And we can't go with that being fear. Yeah. I remember reading a book where it's like, we don't give over. The, the enemy doesn't come and just take our our, 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 our possessions and take our, our legacy. That's what I want to say. He doesn't come over and just take our legacy. We give it to him because people look at torment as like some type of physical torment, yeah. but the enemy can come in and torment you mentally. And that's where it all starts with the thought. I can't do this. I'm not worthy of this. Why me? Um, I came from a family such as this. I'm not the enemy. They're going to be distracted by no. I'm not smart enough for this. And and that's when we we come in agreement with that. We come in agreement with that depression. We come in agreement with that doubt. 
we come in agreement with that because we've allowed him to mentally torment us and then we're just like you know what here i'll just take it whatever gets him no that's not what god wants that's not what he wants for our lives that's not what he wants for our legacy that's not what he wants for our children we take back of our authority and we take back our the things that we have lost that's just like a robber coming into your home you're not just going to let a robber come in and be like okay here right. take everything well some of y'all might <laughs> you had to kill me yeah right that's the same mentality that we have to have with yeah. the enemy like you will kill me before i give over my legacy right. you will kill me before i give over and just lay down and allow you to kill still and destroy me and mine yeah. and that right there is what i've had to tell myself numerous of times when i'm like i can't do this i don't want to do this this is overwhelming i will not give you my legacy for my two boys you're not going to have it and thus that's what we have to tell talk to our own self and take back what he has stolen take back our identity take back the things that we just let him have and that's and that right there is where david david had i think of david and how 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 intimate he was with god and his relationship and his identity with him was he had a strong identity because even god said i call david a friend yeah don't get me started with that i'm yeah, sorry listen that's that's good stuff though that's good stuff that's good stuff because it's generate people say generational generational curse generational curse no 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 there are generational habits that we have to break Absolutely. there are generational curses that we have to say my children will not be the victim of this any longer and it stops with us it stops with us Absolutely. and anytime you stand up and do that you know the enemy gets pissed off and that's what we want let's let it let's let's show him that he cannot hold us down and just go for it man like we 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 have like our destinies are so much like that's why ephesians 3 20 is my favorite verse and why i got it tattooed on me god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can even ask or think like think about how big that is like you can't even imagine all that god has for you that's how like that's how big it is but are you willing to go for it and that and that's where we've had like situations even now in, in my life is like are you willing to give up what god so he can give you what you want for this temporary pleasure for permanent satisfaction yep. and i will i won't forget i will never forget how i was reading one time and god talks to me in visions and dreams and how he showed me was it was like my body was laying right here and it was holes in my body and it was a measuring cup and I was pouring things in like money trying to fill me and it coming out clothes trying to fill me and it was coming out um, relationships trying to fill it and it was coming out and I, in other words I wasn't whole but then when I started getting my identity in him and leaning and gleaming into him then it's like those things he fills those voids in our lives and and it doesn't come out so there's nothing that he cannot feel in my life that i will never be satisfied with yeah. because everything that he does you get satisfied and you get your grateful and gratification for him. and but we look to other things even with this degree today i literally have had to sit back and examine was i doing this for myself or was i doing this for other people because i've been called a, 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 a dumbass excuse my language i've been doubted upon about people who i i fully thought would be by my side and it's like so i started in the beginning making this degree who i am but my identity is not wrapped up in a degree the degree is great to have and it's extra to have but that's not who i am and unfortunately we as people classify and put that title on people oh yeah janae the divorced one and the mother of two Oh yeah, Shauna, the divorced one and the single one. You know what I mean? That's not who we are. Right. We are phenomenal. We are wonderful. We are creative, ma creatively made. We are the apple in God's eyes. We are His daughter. That's who we are. Not a degree. Not not a divorce. Not a a, 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 a single person. And that is where we have. And there's this song in the waiting. It, and it truly is what it is. It's in the waiting that we find out who we are. So I literally had to step back and say yeah this degree is good but it doesn't make me right. it doesn't identify me now i can't wait till the money start rolling in right and, you know right <laughs> right that's real talk but that's real and we all have those 
those moments of where we're just like our identity crisis it's like god who are we what are we here for what is our destiny what job like what, what are we what are you what are we supposed to be doing and at that moment that's when i realized you know what i'm chasing things that's good to have don't get me wrong but you have to make sure you're going after those in the right reason right because otherwise it's in vain it if is. god didn't direct you to do it it is all in vain yeah. and you just wasted time and money yeah yep yeah. yep yeah. that's just like with this i was going back for psychology i'm like okay well after my master's let me go ahead and for psych let me go ahead and in accounting let me just go to psychology because i like to think and understand the people's minds and how they're doing but then it's like is that what you want me to do god right okay am i doing this just to say that i'm in school to get something else am i doing this just to get um oh janae you're doing such a good job okay god so what do you want me to do and i have a spiritual mom who i shared that with her and she said the same thing She's like i don't feel like you need to go back for that right now like there are some classes at the church that are free for spiritual healing spiritual awareness that's what i feel like is you need to go for and i prayed about it and i was like you're right you're absolutely right and that's and, and that's where even Shauna and I were talking. She's like, Janae, I don't like I don't think you need to go back right now. And and that's where we as moms, I can't speak for dads, we as moms feel like we have to go, 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 keep doing something to stay busy or keep doing something because we fear that the lack, especially as a single parent, we fear fear the lack, we fear the stability, we fear the unknown. But when you can say, oh God, I trust in you, you're a miracle worker, you make all things happen, but then I still have fear. I still right. have, I still feel like I need to be depending on other people and, and the lack of, it's like, so you're just talking it. But when right. you put to the test, it's like, all right, God, I'm gonna do, do what you want me to do, I'm gonna surrender. Like, and, let's give God a chance to show up and show out. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So, that was like that sermon that, I remember, you were there when I did at City Church with Mary and Martha and it was like Martha was up and asked Jesus like Jesus you see that I'm working and I'm working and Mary is just praying and she's not helping me and it's like well Jesus so Martha will Mary is where she needs to be at my feet right it's not about being busy it's just okay. to say you're doing stuff yeah. It's not about the performance. It's about being in his feet so he can guide and direct you to be on the path that he wants you to be so then you can flourish so you don't have that fear, that lack, you'll have that stability. The, all the things that we as single, I'm speaking for moms, we as single moms fear, we don't have to fear when we do what Mary did and just stay at his feet. And it's hard sometimes. It's real, it can be really hard sometimes of being consistent with prayer and being consistent with God I'm at your feet and I'm fasting so you can give me direction because that's my safe place and when I'm not there I can tell because I act the way that I acted this morning like I I can say that I you know what I haven't read in a couple of days and there's nothing wrong with being true because he already knows and then when you have people and friends and loved ones that are like you know what girl yeah you're tripping right now you know what because I haven't read I haven't prayed in a couple of days. I've let other things distract me. So then you step outside that character. I'm sorry, I didn't really mean to take over you. No, that's all right, girl. <laughs> your your vlog. They just ain't seen me in a couple they of have years. It. So hopefully that was inspiring for you because seriously, like we, we we that's like our mission and you know just join us for the ride today. Enjoy it. Let's celebrate. And I'll take you guys to the graduation. Hopefully, I'm a, I don't know if I'm a crib walk around that graduation. <laughs> Listen, do it. <laughs> Janae Taylor.